Okay. Um, I confess I'm a little too excited right now. Uh, I can't. I couldn't eat. Couldn't go in for lunch just yet. Uh, but I ended up doing something fairly stupid. Uh, this piece of metal strap with the holes pre-drilled in it, I needed to enlarge ever so slightly with uh, a drill to accept a washer inside that I could use as the pivot point for the fulcrum. And being in a hurry, I took my trusty old uni bit, put it in my DeWalt drill, held the metal strap in my hand and attempted to enlarge in the hole. The first step went through very nicely, the second step caught and bound, spun the metal strap in my hand and ripped my hand open a little bit. So I really do have to go inside but it will be to tend to my wounds and I will probably eat when that happens. But gotta show you this. I just gotta show you this. <coughs> been playing around with the timing uh, of the stator, um, yeah, of the uh, roller bearing assembly. And you can see it. I've already got my flywheel assembled on top. Five pound battery. And I was pretty close without even realizing it when I first assembled it to the bottom of the rotor assembly. I want you to pay very very close attention to the synchronization of the stator control arm as I move the lever up and down just past the position, uh, just past the transition point. Watch this. Watch this. All right, come on. All right, instead of watching the monitor, I'm going to watch the, the device here. perfectly synchronized. All I have to do now is put a piece of linkage at the back here that's going to go up and down together. <sighs> Taking a break, going inside, tending to my wounds, having something to eat, maybe go out and get a case of beer. Uh, better yet, maybe champagne. Who knows? Anyway, that's it for now. Zero Fossil Fuel, signing out.